Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, we will be taking a look at what to expect in this month's October 2020 update in Windows 10. I'm actually looking quite forward to this new update as they're going to be releasing a few new cool features, which we're going to go ahead and take a little look at now. And the first feature is the Windows 10 start menu. They have given it a nice new fresh look. And I love the fact that they have removed the back boxes off the icons. As you can see on the right hand side image here, it no longer has the background squares behind the icons. They have a transparent background. If I scroll down a little bit more, you can see a little animation there of before and after. We have the after with the transparent background and then we have the before that had the squares which I always thought looked a bit ugly and a bit odd anyway. And also the good thing about them removing these background boxes on the icons it may even increase the performance and speed of the start menu which will definitely help those people with slower computers. So I'm definitely looking forward to this new feature. One of the next features in this update is Alt and Tab in between tabs that you have open in Microsoft Edge. At the moment, you can only Alt and Tab between the one tab that you have open active in your Microsoft Edge. But you will actually, if I open up this image a bit bigger, you will now be able to Alt and Tab between all your active tabs that you have in Microsoft Edge, as you can see there in the animation, which is very cool. But you can actually limit the amount of tab sessions that are displayed in Alt and Tab within the settings. Also, with Microsoft Edge, if I scroll a little bit more down, they are improving the pinned sites. The pinned site on the taskbar will now show you all the open tabs for that site across any of your Microsoft Edge windows, which is pretty cool. If we scroll down a little bit more now, they are also personalizing the taskbar for new users. So this feature is a little bit pointless unless you're doing a fresh install of Windows 10. Basically what they are saying, if I just open this image up a bit bigger, they are saying if you don't log in with a Microsoft account, you will just have the standard taskbar layout. If you sign in with your Microsoft account and it has a linked Android phone, then you will have the phone layout. If you have a Xbox Live account, it will then add the gaming section, the Xbox companion app to your taskbar, which is pretty cool. But to be honest, it's not that hard to pin the apps to your taskbar yourself. If we now go back, we have improving the notification experience. And straight away, I'm actually kind of excited about this because they've added a cross onto the notification window. You will now be able to just close those notifications very easily, which is good news. And you may have noticed already, they have now added a icon to the notification window as well. So you can easily tell what app is giving you the notification. If we now go back, we also have making settings even better. They have now moved, if I open up this image quickly, they have now moved even more system information into the main settings on Windows 10. They are slowly removing everything from control panel, as you may know in every update, into settings, which is good news, but I'm a bit old school and I kind of like control panel. And if they do completely get rid of control panel, I will definitely miss control panel, as I sometimes find it a lot easier just to find what I want to do when changing settings in Windows 10. And the next feature is improving the tablet experience. If I go back, we have a bit of text. We don't have images, but basically what they are saying is when detaching the keyboard on a two in one device, a notification would appear asking if you wanted to switch into tablet mode. If you pressed yes, you would switch into tablet mode. If you chose no, it would give you the new tablet posture. 
You will no longer have a notification, you will switch directly into the new tablet experience with some improvements. I don't have a two-in-one device, so I don't actually know too much about the tablet experience, but I'm guessing because it will switch automatically for you into the tablet experience, that is definitely going to make people's lives a lot easier. And also, it's a lot quicker. So that's going to be a pretty cool feature for the new October update as well. We also have lots of other little bits, but I'm not going to go through them all. I will put a link to this blog in the description below so you can all check out the features and improvements yourselves and also the fixes. Overall, I'm actually quite excited about this new update, which, like I said at the start of the video, is expected to be released this month, which we will all be able to hopefully update to. Normally they do actually hold it back on some machines that aren't so compatible with the update, but there are always ways around to manually update to the new updates if you wanted to do this. I will do a tutorial showing you how to do that, but just be careful as obviously there's a reason it's not available for your PC. Anyway, will you be doing the update straight away if you get the option? Comment below, let me know your thoughts about the new October update. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.